Okay guys, um, back again to react to... Oh, what's going on here? I'm sorry. To react to... What is so dark? To react to, um, G Dragon's Crooked. Um, I first want to clarify, um, if anyone has seen my, um, Coup de Talk video, that... I know G-Dragon wasn't doing blackface in a mean, or in in a stereotypical way. He technically wasn't doing a blackface, you know, he was just expressing his feelings and expressing his inner sadness and um, the MV Crooked, um, the second part of his Coup de album was just released, I found it was like three hours ago, so you know, I was pretty surprised, I mean, that was kind of fast and um, for what it seems like. It was, um, it's probably from when he was filming in London. So, um, yeah, I'm pretty, I'm actually really excited to see what he has, um, considering that Coup de Tot has been, you know, buzzing all over the interweb. And I'm pretty sure this video will be buzzing around too. Um, I know, um, Coup de Tot was a little bit tough to decipher. Like, you have to sit and watch it and you have to really analyze the video. One of those things is that you know it took a lot of thought into it. I see it just say, oh, this looks cool, let's just throw it there, this looks cool, throw it there. So, you know. Yeah, let's get this thing to the dragon's cook it. I apologize for the delay. So, we already know that's London. I really like his hair. And I have a feeling this video is going to be very sad. Just by how it looks so far. Oh. Great kid.
Oh shit. Did he just pass out on the floor? Did anyone see that? Did you just see him pass out on the floor? What the hell was that? Um, one moment. So, here's what I thought on the video. Um, I thought it was really sad. Um, obviously the title is Crooked, and you know, in his MV for Coup d'etat, he seemed very, you know, he showed that there's this really dark person inside of me, and personally, this actually kind of reminded me of what happened to Britney Spears. I know it's kind of a funny subject, but, um, if you're a Britney fan like I am, when... This is kind of like, G-Dragon's coup d'etat would be in symbolically sim similar to, um, sorry, symbolically, I mean lyrically sim similar to, um, Britney Spears' Lucky, how she talks about, you know, she shows herself in the world, but she cries at night because, you know, she's sad, and G-Dragon, you know, everyone sees him as this cute person, and, and there's a really, just, just a really dark person inside, you know, this slowly seeping out and crooked the envy was very straightforward as opposed to coup d'etat where you can you have to decipher it this one was you know he's just you know he's going around being a bad kid and he's he's doing what i don't know i'm i'm probably not even thinking right but it's just <sighs> It's sad. I looked at the lyrics and the lyrics correlate with like literally almost every frame of the video. Like, here, I'll read a portion of it. I scream and get dizzy. I vent out of boredom to other couples. I start fights for no reason like a town gangster. Sometimes I purposely shake my leg crookedly. The main characters of the movie called This World is you and me, a lonely island lost and wandering. The empty streets are filled with those who are alone, unlike my heart. The weather is so damn nice. I mean, it's really sad. It's sad, but it has this anthem-like feel to it, you know? Like, people would be singing this song to... Or, like, when they break up, or when they're feeling, you know... When they're feeling lonely in the world, they're feeling empty, they're feeling, they're feeling crooked. You know, they're feeling like things aren't going right, and, you know, why am I doing this, and... Here comes Sea Dragon with this song that sounds like an anthem, but it's the complete opposite. It's it's a very sad song. It's it's, it's actually sad to see a K-pop artist like this. You know, I mean, in K-pop envies, you're used to seeing them so happy. Um, even if the song is about a breakup, you all know it's just an act. The lyrics are written by their companies and. They're acting in their MVs, they're acting, they're portraying that they're sad, they're portraying the lyrics. And here, CD is not only portraying the lyrics, he wrote the lyrics, he probably composed the song himself as well. He's portraying his feeling. He's portraying his feelings, what he feels, what he feels in the lyrics, what he feels in the MV. It's, it's, I don't know. GD is something else. GD is something else. He is... K-pop generation, and I'm actually <laughs> getting a little bit teary about it because when artists comes out come out with some with things like these that you know they take a lot of work that they put into it, a lot of their heart and their soul, and you know they think about it. You know it's really touching that someone takes their work very seriously into this, and what makes it more touching is the fact that we're seeing a whole different side of G-Dragon. He's always this charismatic, and he was he was charismatic in the MV. You know, he's very brash and abrasive, you know, towards everyone else. 
but it was sad to see that. You know, it was sad to see that side of Sea Dragon, and um, I'll probably sound like a bad person, but I'd kind of like to see it a little bit more for for a while. You know, I I do miss um the earlier image that Sea Dragon had, but this image is something else, and I I really appreciate it. It's a, truly a work of art. Um. It, like I said, it had this anthem, anthem-like feel, you know, I felt as if it seemed like one of those MVs where, you know, the person was on drugs and they, you know, like, and they're trying to become, and they're trying to get free from it, you know, he's, you see him running down the hall, um, you see him running around London, like, throughout the whole MV, basically, he's, like, literally running through, running, he could have ran all over London, like, throughout the whole MV, and, you know, I personally think is a great actor, he, um, and all their Big Bang parody videos, and, um, especially I think his acting skills are great in the, um, MV for Haru Haru, I thought that was amazing. Um, I know he's not that interested in acting, he said it, um, on a show, but he's pretty good at it. He's really good, you know, he has great facial expressions and everything, um, there we go. I was trying to figure out which artist this reminded me of. It kind of reminds me of Avril Lavigne, it has the pop punk anthem feel. It's, um, it, it seems like a happy song, but you know it's not. But it gives you that little glimpse of hope for some reason. And that's what I thought this song did, and I felt really sad. Um, his... The style of the MV was great. Um, the style, um, like always. <laughs> like always, D Dragon comes with comes up with these new fashion his with his fashion sense and it leaves you in awe. Like you're just kinda like who 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 comes up with that, you know? And his stylists too, they probably would have they they've outdone themselves in this video. It was amazing. And D Dragon always has this perfect um balance of androgyny. You know, he could look too much like a, um, he can't look too much like a girl, and he can't look too much like a guy. Like, it's the perfect balance between, and you know, it makes girls and guys want to dress like G-Dragon, and I personally would want to as well. Um, aside from the fact that I know this was shot in London, um, the set and the backdrops that they had were very well, or very beautifully done, rather. Um, I did like that set that he was in the room. I thought that was really cute. Um, I actually want a room like that. Over. It had a very Victorian, dark feel to it, which I am a big fan of. So yeah, um, I would just like to voice to all those people who are misunderstanding D Dragon's comeback and what he has to offer. You people are not taking your time and appreciating his music. You people are, um, I'm, I know I'm one to hate the term, don't, I basically hate it when people say, um, don't judge me, or don't judge others, because whatever you do, you're going to be judged. Being judged is inevitable, but you people are not you people are basically judging. You are not taking the time to analyze and respecting him for what he's doing, for what he's doing for K-pop, for what he's doing for himself, for what he's doing for the world, you know. There are worldwide K-pop fans and you never know, a song like this could help them get through some tough times and you guys are just basically discrediting G Dragon and saying that his, basically saying that his feelings 
are stupid. You know, they're not real. And I think they are. Because I felt that through the MV, you know. I, I actually felt like I wanted to cry. But I think crying on camera would have ruined what little makeup I have on. So, um, yeah. If you enjoyed my reaction to this video, please like and subscribe. Um, if you also have any videos that you would like me to react to, um, you can comment below, direct message me, Facebook me, Instagram me. Um, I do prefer to be tweeted on Twitter mainly because I check Twitter most and I barely get notified from anything else. If I do get notified from them, I get notified very late and I like to be prompt. So, um, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Um, I will see you guys all later. Bye.